This is part two of our GIMP basics series. And in the first part, we learned about scaling, cropping, cutting with transparency, flipping, and rotating. And in this part, we'll learn how to reduce and save our image. And then we'll apply it to a real world application. We're doing really well here. We only have two more items on our list. And that's reducing and saving. And when I say reducing, I mean reducing the file size, the number of bits. So let's go ahead and save this image. So if we go to File on the Image pane and go Save As, we've got a box here, and we're going to select the file type. And let me tell you, GIMP has its own file type. And that file type is an XCF. And what an XCF does, it saves all the information about the image. So you can go back and re-edit. The only thing it doesn't save is the do and undo information. When you save as another file type, JPEG, for example, you actually lose information. So let's go down and save this image as a JPEG. Click on JPEG. And click on Save. and you immediately get a dialog box that says, hey, you're about to lose transparency information. Do you want to do that? And I'm going to go ahead and, I'm go ahead and export. And up comes this dialog box, and this is the coolest thing. This dialog box is going to allow you to reduce the size of your image. So let's go to Show Preview Image window. Click on that. There's our image, and that's what it's going to look like as we slide this quality slider. And also, it shows us the size of the image. Right now, at 83 quality, I have 12 kilobits. And I can adjust that down. And I can watch the quality of the image. Will, is that acceptable to me? Now I have 4.2 kilobits. And let's go back down lower. And now you see I'm actually pixelating a lot at 1.2. That would be an unacceptable. It'll go up a little bit to 17, to 25. And I have a 4.1 kilobyte image, which is very small and which will load very rapidly. So I'm happy with that, and I'll hit save. So this is how you reduce the size of your image. And it's a visual uh, um, process. And save, and now I've actually saved my image. All right, we've completed the big seven. We've learned to scale, crop, cut with transparency, flip, rotate, reduce, and save. And now let's apply this to a real example. So I'm going to go to my desktop and bring in a new image. File. Open. Let's navigate to my desktop. And bring up an image called Reading Room. And already we know that r image is too large, so let's scale that down. And I'll click on my scale icon. And when I do that, I should get an image box. <coughs> And when I do that, I should get an image box once I click on the image. And here's my image box. And let's bring the size down. Let's lock it so everything's scaled proportionally. And let's bring the size down to 450. Hit scale. And now my, and now my image is a lot smaller. And we will go ahead and go to image and click on fit and layers. There you go. So now the canvas is fit as well. We'll shrink this a little bit so it fits inside our viewing box. And what I want to do is basically cut out a piece of this image, like a book, so I can turn it into a button and in flex. So we'll come along here and go to the Transform tool. And we're just going to click, 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 and complete the path. And now we're going to Shift-V and control I and hit delete. So now we have a portion of the book that will overlay the full image so we can get a button in flex. So this is too much though. I have a large screen of transparency and a small image so let's go ahead and crop that image. So I click on my crop tool over here. Come over here and crop around the image as small as we can get and click and there's our image and now we're going to save it. And I want to say a few things about file formats and saving. There are basically three file formats that I save in because most of my work is on the web and that's GIF formats, JPEG, and PNG. Now GIF 
is a great format to save drawings in. Usually that's the smallest size you can do that in. And it also has transparency. And you've probably seen this in the old animated GIFs. It's actually the older format. JPEG is specifically for photos. And Ping you want to use for images with transparency. And basically most of what I do now is in JPEGs and Pings. So let's go ahead and save this particular image as a Ping since we want this transparent background. We'll click on the file, image file, go save as, and we want to open up these and select a file. And let's navigate down to ping. And click on save. Okay, now I've already saved this image previously, so let's go ahead and replace it. Okay, I want to remove the background color so I get that alpha transparency and hit save. Good. And now we're ready to go. So what I've done, I've actually put my image and the image overlay into Adobe Flex. And so let me click on this book and move this piece around. So you can see that's the image I actually cut out in the previous photo. I want to lay that over the uh, background image. And now I can come along here and put a blur or a uh, shadow effect on this book so when I roll over it, it gives me that image effect. This is something that a lot of people don't know how to do in Adobe Flex, but we've actually figured that out. So let me show it to you. So if we run the Flex project and we roll over the book and click on it, we can see there's the glow effect of the book. And then we'll go and write some code so when we click on that book something happens like an audio plays or a video plays or a link comes up. So there you have it, a real application using GIMP and Flex.